Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today, we are going to continue module 10. We will have Top Stars Part 1. In this lesson, you are going to learn four new words and read a story and answer some questions. This lesson you will find it in your student book page 116 117 and in your workbook page 120. Are you ready to play a game? Behind each door there is a picture. Let's discover them to guess the new words. Are you ready? Are you ready to start? Let's go. Behind door number two. What is the matter of the boy? Door number four. What is it? What do we use it for? Behind door number one. What is the boy doing? And the last one. What is it? What do we use it for? Excellent. That was great. Are you ready? Now let's learn the new words. Grab your student book and open it at module 10, page 116, activity number 1. Word number 1 is sick. Repeat after me. Sick. The word sick is adjective as in the boy is sick. He should go to the doctor. Word number 2 is sneeze. Repeat after me. Sneeze. The word is verb, as in, I have got a flu. I sneeze all the time. Hachoo! Word number three is soap. The word soap is noun, as in, wash your hands with water and soap. The last one is tissue. Repeat after me. Tissue. Tissue is a noun, as in, use a clean tissue when you sneeze. You did well. Now let's practice more. Open your workbook, module 10, page 120, activity number 1. In this activity, you are going to read and complete these sentences using one of the words from the box. Then you are going to match the sentences with the correct picture. Number one is an example. Where's Ali? He isn't here today. He is. Very good. The answer is sick. And this sentence matches with B. Very good. Now pause the video and try to do it by yourself. Thank you so much. Now please check your answers. Two. Children, wash your hands with soap before you eat. 3. Don't forget to cover your mouth and nose when you sneeze. 4. Achoo! Can you give me a tissue, please? A is 4, C is 3, and D is 2. You did well. Thank you so much. Now it's story time. Open your student book and pay attention to activity number two. Are you ready? Read and answer. Which of the three girls wasn't at school the previous day? In the school playground, where were you yesterday, Rima? I stayed at home because I was sick. You know, a doctor visited our school yesterday. He talked to us and brought a poster too. In the classroom... Look, Rima, when you're sick, you should drink a lot of water. That's right, but you shouldn't share your glass with other people. 
a two. Rima, you should use a tissue when you sneeze. You should use a clean tissue every time. Then you should wash your hands with warm water and soap. OK. After school... Look at that cat! It's so cute! <coughs> Does the cat have to use a tissue too? Oh, oh Rima. Rima! Did you like the story? All right then, answer this question. Which of the three girls wasn't at the school the previous day? The answer is... Rima wasn't at the school the previous day. Very good. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and read by yourself to answer some questions. Great job! Now move to your student book, activity number 3, page 117. In this activity, you are going to read these four sentences carefully and write T for a true or F for false. Remember, you have to find the evidence in your student book before answer these questions. Number one is an example. One, Rima wasn't at school when the doctor came. The answer is true. I stayed at home. You know, a doctor visited our school yesterday. So this is the evidence. Now pause the video and try to continue two, three, and four by yourself. You did a great job. Now let's check the answers together. Number two, the doctor brought a poster with him. The answer is true. Three, when you are sick, you shouldn't drink water. The answer is false. When you are sick, you should drink a lot of water. Number four, the girls Give a tissue to Rima. The answer is false. The girls told Rima that you should use a clean tissue every time. Thank you so much. You did a great job. Now always remember, dear students, when you are sick, you should follow these steps. Step number one. Drink a lot of water. Tip number two, don't share your glass with others. Keep it to yourself. Tip number three, wash your hands carefully with warm water and soap. And also, when you sneeze, cover your mouth with a tissue. As always, don't forget to do your daily assessment within 24 hours on Teams. Thank you so much and I hope you will be always safe. Bye-bye.